Welcome to another dog, dog fooding video. This time we're exploring Zeitgeist. I have not been on this website in a while. I have used Zeitgeist in the past, so I kind of want to see what's new, what's changed, maybe set up a prediction market or two. So Zeitgeist is <clears throat> a prediction market marketplace where you can basically, well, I mean, prediction markets are essentially casinos for everything. So whatever you want to gamble on, you can gamble on, on prediction markets. They, uh, you know, people like to package them up as, as something more like, uh, you know, words uh, like few dark here are being thrown around and, um, <clears throat> you know, m just trying to, to get away from the casino moniker, but that really is all they are. Now, uh, frankly, I've been using other markets more like Polymarket, just because there's much more liquidity there and liquidity is after all king so um, if you don't really have many people to bet against it doesn't really make much sense there's also a newcomer on the market called limitless i believe uh, i don't like that prediction market because it doesn't tell you at all how a situation is going to resolve it doesn't tell you how uh, who is the oracle for resolving that market and so on actually let me uh, check this out no this is the wrong limitless Limitless prediction market. All right, let's see. Um, yeah, I think this is this is the one. So it's limitless exchange. And so you can see here, uh, will limitless achieve 10 million in volume in the first year since launch? And so if you click on this market, um, it, you can see how dumb this is. So this is like you have two outcomes. There is no information on who's the oracle of this. Who is going to decide whether or not this was. Um, this was successful or not but more than that limitless allows you to post completely stupid uh, markets that are 100 percent gameable so 100 million in volume where on which exchange when you know um it's it's ridiculous it's like i can just write a script that does 10 million dollars in volume and win this market so i can just buy a bunch of votes and then swing my swing my vote, swing the result in my direction. So I don't like Limitless for this reason. Uh, Zeitgeist has much better uh, defined markets. So if I go to Pepe Price May 2024, again, uh, this is this is just what people gamble on. So shitcoin prices and so on. It's not really, it's not, not really any real value add, but it is what it is. People play with it. It's similar to meme coins, right? But at least here you can see what's happening. So about the market, you have full info. Will it be this much and that much on this website? Where can the, the, the data be found? And then you have here the Oracle. So the Zeitgeist Oracle 24, this is the official Oracle of Zeitgeist's team, and they will be oracleizing this result. This makes you feel much safer about gambling here because you know this is not going to be rugged. You know this is not going to be um, manipulated in their direction and I think this is the the key part that every prediction market must have now, the UI here is a bit um, overwhelming at times especially if you're not used to it but I think this is very important to have this information here um, because you know you you have to know who can influence your result who can influence your thing now the the, the liquidity as I said is quite disappointing so it's 1.56 K ZTG and one ZTG is four cents. You do the math. The volume is four K ZTG. This is uh, embarrassing. There's only four traders here, so <clears throat> the markets are pretty dead. But this is uh, mainly because the ecosystem itself is pretty dead, unfortunately. So let's see if we can turn it around by making an actually interesting market. Let's see this. Oh, actually, let's check out these other ones. What else do they have? So you can he see here on the markets screen, you can see some of the some of the interesting markets that people have set up let's only look at uh active ones oh actually it was active ones um uh, hold on status active yeah all right so tiktok ban usa let's see there are three outcomes only two traders so far uh i have i, I do think i have some ztg i have some ztg all right and so um we have here banned, sold, or permitted as outcomes of the market. So markets can also have multiple choice outcomes. They don't have to be binary, yes or no. Will the TikTok app be banned in the USA before the end of the year? The market will resolve to banned if TikTok is banned in the USA before 31st December. 
and sold if it's sold to another company otherwise the market will go to permit it very clear again it's zeitgeist doing the oracleization right now we have here um, permitted costs 0.5 ZTG banned and sold both cost around 0.2 so um, it looks like it's not getting permitted according to this market and I don't really know what the status of the TikTok thing in USA is right now so I can't reasonably uh, reasonably bet on this with any kind of informed opinion however if you know for sure what's going on then technically you could just get some free money by you know if you know for sure that already it's been banned you could just buy uh, you know banned at 0.25 and then just cash in the free money when it goes to zero after it fully resolves. So there's some opportunity there, but it is again stifled by the fact that the volume is zero ZTG. Um, let's look at some others. Let's actually check with most volume. <clears throat> okay, this is ridiculous. The side tail, I don't want to deal with this. Um, Joe Biden wins the 2024 US presidential election. Okay, this is interesting. So we have 36 traders on the USA presidential election. This ends on November 7th and resolves on November 13th and it has a 31k volume with a 2.28k ZTG liquidity. Still very low amounts but the highest that these markets can offer. And so here you have a prediction that Biden will be president is um, implied percentage is 20 uh, 22 so this means if i'm not mistaken this means that most people think he is going to be president because the yes votes are cheaper that means that everybody agrees everybody bought them um no actually everybody sold the yes votes which means that it's cheaper so if everybody sold the yes votes that means that he's not likely to be the president um I don't really pay attention to this that much but yes I would probably agree and so let's simulate the purchase here uh, let's say that I'm gonna say that he's not gonna be president so I'm gonna be buying at 0 0.78 and let's say that I want to buy so I'm buying for ZTG and I want to buy let's say 2000 worth of ZTG of this vote this means that I will be getting 2.3 K and I will raise the price by 10%. So this is the impact of the liquidity. This is how much I'm gonna affect the price of this market if I buy 2000 uh, ZTG worth of no votes. Um, and of course there's the network fee. So this is how you buy the, the tokens. And then once your market resolves, you can actually go and uh, portfolio, and you can check the markets in which you have uh, participated to claim some of your token so it seems like I was participating in some markets before um, so long above 30 bucks at the end of November 2023 um, so it looks like I lost money on all of these uh, you can see here that um, Peter staying as CMO of parity what did I bet on here um, I bet on yes and uh, I do I do believe he was he was fired so I lost there um, there was a, this some some kind of room temperature ambient pressure superconductor being real I said it's not real but I don't think this was real I don't know really let's check out the market so first of all let me show you how to redeem your tokens so I'm just gonna redeem the transaction will ask you to redeem your tokens from a resolved um, market and then I'm just gonna get whatever tokens I can get I'm gonna get them out of this um, so right now I have, I don't know how much I have. Uh, I think I had 60, 60K ZTG. So let's see how much I'm gonna have when this resolves. Okay, redeemed 45K, all right, cool. Um, I guess this takes a while to update or maybe it's already looking at my unredeemed tokens, who knows. Then let's redeem this Solana thing. I don't remember where it was at the price, uh, don't really care much come on oh yeah okay so now it's summed up not bad 
<clears throat> let's see. No, it's claiming my Solana market. Okay, meanwhile, let's check out the room temperature thing. The outcome is no. Okay, yeah, so this was fake. Did I buy yes or no? What did I buy? Latest trades. Are these my trades or anybody's trades? No, these are anybody's trades. Um, kind of unclear, kind of unclear. Sidecast team, you should make this more clear. Oracle Bill. Who's Bill? Oh, Bill Laboon. All right, cool. Mm. So it doesn't stay, doesn't say what I bought here, or does it? Yes. Looks like I said yes. Interesting. Okay, I was betting on the improbable outcome, I suppose. Well, then I can just claim that as well. All right, so we've seen how redeeming the tokens works from an expired uh, market. This is cool. And uh, here's a leaderboard where you can check everybody who's been gambling on Zeitgeist. And you can see here that, you know, it's it's pretty humble stuff. You know, it's not these are not these are not, you know, mind bending amounts. And um, and that's fine. It's in the growth phase. So I think we just need more interesting markets and markets that people will actually notice. So let's see some uh, let's see how we can make. A market right let's see what what is this airdrop okay I'm gonna deal with this later I have no idea what this is um, notifications you have one redeemable markets well not anymore all right so let's make a let's make a market huh create a market so now you can pick um, which currency you want people to bet in and I'm gonna put zeitgeist tokens actually those are pretty hard to get I think people will have a much easier time getting dot but I don't know if I have any dot on Zeitgeist as a as a as my with my current address. So let me check this out. Let's switch to Zeitgeist and see if I have any dot here on this account. Uh, this I don't have any. Ah oh, no, these are ZTG. How can I have dot here? The dot as the base asset. Not really sure how I can have dot. Do they have balances, assets? Let me see, chain state. Asset manager, asset registry, balances. Let's check this one out. It's not, it's not Kusama experiment, it's... Um, Which one is it? Um, Swader, it's this one. Okay, let's check out this one. Chain state, let's check for balances under this account. I don't have any balances according to this. tokens Ugh. okay is there some sort of can I check here portfolio can I check what I have balances yes okay I have one dot Ugh. okay this is not enough to do anything productive and this is on Polkadot chain I have zero dot on the Zeitgeist chain all right so let's gamble with ZTG I guess um, I'm expecting a lot less liquidity for this, but it is what it is. Oh, and by the way, um, I think we were able to, once upon a time, modify our fee paying asset. Oh, nice. You can modify which asset you want to pay your fees in. That's very cool. Uh, we were able to modify our avatars. These used to be uh, under badges okay so these are badges that you collect based on your participation in the markets and then you can customize your avatar with these badges um, not sure if that works still not sure where that would be get ZTG select account this is fine portfolio balances markets badges history nothing there all right that is fine will singular EVM launch in March yeah okay um, 
Okay, let's make a market huh, in ZTG and ask a question that is specific and has a time frame. So in this edition of dot leap, I am proposing the creation of a decentralized newsletter so that dot leap can be managed by the community based on merit or, or, or more accurately on decaying gamified category or merit so that the community can actually take over the newsletter and uh, not only uh, create it and publish it, but also um, earn money from it. And I think it's a fairly interesting idea. I recommend you read the editorial of this edition, this latest edition. So let's posit a question that deals with this. Will dot leap be decentralized by first first 2025? So I have this six month deadline to do this. And let's say crypto and dot sum, I guess. Um, next. Yes and no are the answers that are accepted. When does the market end? So let's set the end date will be on December 31st and it will uh, have four days for a report period which so a report period reporting starts after the market ends and grace period has finished in this period the market can uh, outcome can only be resolved by the designated oracle if the oracle fails to report the market goes into open reporting where anybody can submit the outcome so uh, on the this on december 31st there will be a, a four day period for reporting the outcome and the dispute period will be another four days after that so this is if um if a dispute is raised after this report has been done and then i will set up the oracle so who can i set up as the oracle here i can connect myself but then i'm basically um i'm basically kind of you know i i can manipulate the market essentially basically i can resolve to whatever i want so if i buy a bunch of tokens i can resolve to do to those tokens making money um this is not not super good so i would love to be able to uh define i would love to be able to define um actually the zeitgeist oracle for this so let me try and actually hack this so let's go to markets and then there was this i think and Zeitgeist Oracle. So I'm just gonna nick their account and use that. And so I'll talk to them later about oracleizing this for me. So it can be completely neutral and uh, they, will be, they will be responsible for deciding whether or not this is resolved. Uh, for description, I hope I can edit this later. I don't remember if I can, but uh, I, will, um, I will make a basic description here and uh, so let's see um dot leap will be decentralized in terms of publishing by end of year 2024 through uh, gdcm paragraph and rune site three protocols designed to decentralize the creation and publication process of the newsletter all three branches of this decentralization will be in production by then for more info see dot leap edition 8 here paragraph dot leap all right that should be enough for now and then market moderation uh, goes live as soon as you need advice cheaper but requires approval from the advisory committee before becoming active bond cost 1000 ZTG I can do it permissionless so we can have it active right away and now this is the most complicated part which always confused me it's not very intuitive and for normies this is absolutely unprocessable creator fee creators will be paid, paid a fee based on trading volume um, all right so as you trade some fee for trades will go to the creator i'll put 0.1 percent humbly let's see how that works out market liquidity deploy pool yes or no i don't really like why would i not deploy the pool so of course i'm going to deploy the pool 
and then base liquidity is 200 ztg this is the amount of liquidity that will be provided to the market it will be used to facilitate trading and is subject to impermanent loss as compensation you will earn trading fees note that this is the exact amount of ztg you'll spend on liquidity this does not include the bond amount or the transaction fees that's fine so i'm going to put 50k in here and 50k so it, i don't know if this is now expecting me to add 100k or is that 50k so you, you can see here 50k but then you see here 50k for yes 50k for no this is confusing to me and then there's also the swap fee which i also don't understand what it is what's the creator fee and what's the swap fee uh we don't know i don't know who knows anyway um can i is it possible to huh is it possible to disbalance them already well, actually, it's not fair to disbalance them. So, in, the, in 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 reality, I could do something like, I could do something like this, right? Zero point two to zero point eight. I could I could get them out of balance. But let's just put them all to the same probability, and uh, swap fee, swap fee. Okay, let's just go one percent, three percent. This is fine. Let's do it humbly, and. Uh, amount 50k so we have now here the summary of this uh, market and let's publish it approve let's wait for approval so now this market is being formed I'm paying for it in ZTG I'm adding liquidity in ZTG I don't really know where you can get ZTG. I do hope it's on some exchanges, but if you have trouble getting it, please get in touch with me. I'll connect you to the team. We can do some OTC uh, amounts easily. And so now my uh, market has been created an index, redirecting to market page. Here we go. And now we are on the market page. So nobody has gambled yet. So I'm just gonna say .leap will be decentralized by the first first, and I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna dog food here. I'm gonna buy. 50k actually I can't because that's gonna shift the that's gonna affect 50% of the price Ooh, all right 10k 12% price all right let's say 10k ZTG I'll buy I'll buy some yes so let's dog food our own market let's dog food our own market and now you will immediately see the price shift on the graph so that you can tell you can tell that the the public opinion has shifted about this about this market there we go and you can also tweet about it immediately that's cool that's nice so as soon as this change indexes i suppose there is going to the database and fetching back and so on and then it will be and you can see here the oracle is defined as the zeitgeist oracle 24 so i cannot manipulate this market uh, let's just check real quick if i can edit the description uh, no it looks like i cannot so i can only hope that people will go to this link and read up in dot leap edition 8 what this actually means which i am about to publish refresh let's see if the graph changes um day today not yet not yet didn't change yet uh, but the prices did change down below so i did move the price significantly just for the heck of it let's just buy 10 more 10 more thousand of yes points just because i believe so strongly in my ability to deliver this all right and so this is how you use Zeitgeist to make your own prediction market. We are now effectively gambling on the future of the Dotleap newsletter. You can gamble on anything at all here. And uh, you can earn some free money if you have some insider info about certain resolutions of certain things. Um, <coughs> once 31st December rolls around, this market will no longer be gambleable. <coughs> and... Um, we'll know how it resolves in the first week of the new year. One thing to note is that if this decentralization happens somehow before then, there is no way to end a market early. This is the period of free money. Because if the decentralization happens early, this means that 
if effectively the result has happened, but the market is not ended. And so if there's still a disparity in prices, I encourage you to then go in and just buy all of the outcome tokens because that's essentially uh, free money. And there we go. That's it. Under portfolio, I can now see my market and I can see my exposure. I can see, um, you know, all of the different information that, that that's here. I can ma manage my market from here. But essentially, you really want to you really want to keep an eye on it from here. So I hope to see you gambling on our um, on our market. And uh, yeah, good luck with it. Thank you for watching and Zeitgeist, good job. Everything works. The UI is fairly intuitive. Admittedly, I'm not, I've, this isn't the first time I'm using it, so I may be a little bit biased. <coughs> Excuse me. But um, it's pretty straightforward. Those fees at the end are a little confusing, but otherwise, all pretty good. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.